Hello, Secret students. My name is Jeremy here on behalf of Secret Network, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite parts about Secret Network, and that would be staking. We're not going to get too much into the technical ins and outs of staking, but long story short, by providing your secret and locking it up, you can actually grow your secret pile. This might seem too good to be true, but you're actually helping the network a lot when you do stake. The secret network uses delegated proof of stake, which kind of acts like a representative body, and they use this to reach consensus to decide which transactions to push through. Now, you delegate your secret to a validator, that validator processes transactions, gains a reward, and shares a proportional slice of that reward with you, and that happens every single time they create a block. One really important note to get to before we dive into how to stake, you're not giving up control of your secret by delegating it to a validator. Rather, the funds are temporarily locked up during this delegation process, but at no point can a validator take or move your secret. So without any further delay, let's let the secret out of the bag and learn how to stake your secret. Here you can see your total balance, stake secret, and available secret. As you can see, I have 10 secret available, none staked, but that is actually about to change because I'm going to show you how to stake. So as long as you have some available secret, you can delegate and start earning rewards. Remember, the rewards you earn are proportional to the amount you stake. The more secret you stake, the more secret you'll receive in the form of rewards. And as you probably guessed, this button right here, the stake button, is your gateway to staking. And when we click that, it's going to redirect you to a page with a list of all active validators. That's what this list that's populating right now. These are all the active validators, one through 80. Each validator has a set commission kept from the rewards they generate for their role in maintaining the network. And each has different as a different number of voting power correspondent to the amount of secret delegated to them. Once you've picked the validator that you uh, so desire, click the manage link. And we're just gonna go with Citadel one because they are the uh, number one validator in terms of voting power. So let's go over here to manage. You get a little description about Citadel one, their website. And if you click that blue button, what that is going to do is take you to this page where you actually, this is the page where you delegate from. So I'm going to type in the, or I'm going to select the maximum amount that I can stake. And that's about 9.99. Remember, we need a little bit of secret left in our wallet to pay for the transaction fee. because we're actually sending our secret to a contract. And as soon as you do that, just click delegate. One really important note before you do that. Staking locks up your funds for 21 days. Now, you're not going to have any problem if you want to continue staking, but when you want to pull out your stake, you're going to have to have a 21 you're going to have to wait for a 21-day unbonding period during which you won't gain rewards. After those 21 days, your secret will be liquid again. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, sell it, trade it, um, stake it, whatever you want, you will be free to do so. So, knowing that, we are going to click delegate Remember, this is a transaction. So Kepler is going to come up and say, hey, are you sure you want to do this? Do you want to approve this transaction? And yes, I do. I would like to stake. And here you can see my total balance hasn't changed because that is just taking the total amount of available and stake secret and just putting a US dollar value on it, as you can see. But as you notice, I had 10 secret before, and I pretty much transferred all of that um, to be staked. So right now, if I want to undo my stake, just really quick, I'll show you. Um, we're going to click stake. It would take it would take us to this page. Here you can manage your delegation, and you would just select undelegate um, if you would like to pull back your secret and go through that 21-day unbonding period. You can also redelegate your uh, secret to another validator, and that does not take a 21-day unbonding period. So that's pretty much the lowdown on all things staking. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did so, be a friend, tell a friend, like, subscribe, share. If you have any questions, throw those down in the comments. Again, my name is Jeremy here on behalf of Secret Network. We hope you have a good one.